still waiting on renovations and we'll do a video on that one. Yeah, but, your renovations, bro. I I understand his perspective. Like he got fucked over by his contract. No, he got proper fucked. And I know him. He's a brother. He's a good friend of mine. So my house is livable and I can use everything in my house. That's yeah. fine. Are there things out of place? Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm helping a brother. He's helping me. Lower cost. But I still want my fucking house back. Yeah, and no, I, he I'm knows, with you, bro. And he's, he's more or less the one always going, bro, I just want to give you your fucking house back. And it's like, I know. And he's good people. He is. So realistically, next week, he finally got more people back on his team again after the last one screwed him over. Proper screwed him over. Well, so he's a good old boy. He's Hispanic, grew up in the slums. He made something of himself. He made a company, got heavy into drugs, and then backed up. He was like, he gave it to his partner. He's like, look, I can't right now because I'm just going to spend all the money on drugs. Yep. Went to a rehab, got all fixed up, tried to come back to that company. And dude screwed him over there. He was yeah. like, nope, you're, you're out. You've been out for six months. Yeah, but I was fixing my life. Jumped over to build a new one. He's working at apartment complexes, doing all the bells and whistles. Did really good, made a name for himself here. Then branched out on his own again and made a company about pre-COVID, a little bit during COVID. And that's his current company that he's been working with. And he's Hispanic, family's from Mexico. Like He understands coming over legally and all that. And people come over and because he's Hispanic and has connections there, he hired two Argentinian folks, not a lick of English, which he was fine with. He was like, but you're working, you're learning. Yeah, no, because he was trying to do them solid, right? They stole two thousand dollars worth. Two thousand fucking so. So this is, but he'd even care about that. He was like, "Look, I trained you, I paid you, and then you still steal from me." It's like, come on, like really? And then you have your girlfriend call me, and it was like trying to ask for more money. It's like I, what? I paid you for the last week, and you didn't even show up. So, I understand everything he's going through business-wise. As a customer, I'm not happy. But... As a brother. As a brother, I understand. It was like, okay, I get it. Fix your stuff. Fix my house. We'll get through it. Because realistically, as the overarching contractor, he's like, really I have good. Seen his, I, I have seen his work when he is overseeing the work, and it's solid. It looks fantastic. And I, I still would recommend him because he is anal about things. Like, I'll see something, I was like, oh, that's good. Like, shower, for example. Shower tile. I was like, I mean, it, it looks like an accent wall in the shower. Yeah. He was like, nope, I don't like it. They tore down the whole wall again, put up new tile. Like, I mean, okay. I don't, I don't see the same nitty-gritty onesie-twosies that you do. My wife does, and you do, so it's, it's good you two can talk. Yeah. I just wanted operational and looking good. 